Hey you guys, what's cracking? It's SiriHex here and I'm going to be teaching you guys how to start a server of your own or it's rather a, a, a piece together guide. So um, basically what you, you guys are really going to need for this is an iPhone 4S and a jailbroken iDevice that you want to run Siri on and with Spire or Spiri or whatever you guys call it. And once you have that, uh, another thing you're going to need is a Mac, PC or a Linux based uh, computer. So with your Mac or PC, for Macs you're going to be using Parallels, and uh, for PCs you're going to be using VMware. I'll just go into the tutorials right now. So I've provided two links in the description below. Let's click the first one with iDownload blog. So this is going to be on how to set up your proxy. So that's the first step in getting your iPod to work with your or your iDevice, non-iPhone 4S device, to work with your uh, server. So you're gonna, you guys are gonna be installing this. Just go right through this. It's very. I really gotta hand it off to I download blog. There's a whole lot of crap on the web about this. I mean, uh, it's not very. Um, I wouldn't recommend most other things. I haven't really seen any good tutorials other than I download blogs for this. So if you guys have seen better ones, just comment in the comment section below so uh, other people know. So um, once you've done that, just go through this. It's very descriptive. I mean, it's probably one of the best you guys are gonna come across of. And uh, it's, I know you guys have to install Ubuntu, and like I said, you're going to want to have uh, Parallels or VMware on your PC or Mac. I know this is a big drawback for you guys, and uh, it's not that bad, it's 1.2 gigs, but um, you should be fine. It'll take a couple hours depending on uh, your internet connection, but that's probably one of the hardest parts, is waiting for that. And I know it says it'll only work for the iPhone 4S, I've uh, edited this tutorial such that it will. Uh, so once you have that, just go through this once again, or I may or may not have already said this, but this is going to describe it. This tutorial is good. It's going to describe this much better than I will. But just go all the way through it. It's going to be very descriptive. You guys are not going to have a problem. If you do, just comment or send me a personal message and you'll be fine. And just go all the way through. So once you have that done, um, so now you can have your iPhone talking to your uh, proxy server, and that's always a good thing. So you can um, do various stuff inside your house, like add various commands to Siri. So once you have that done, uh, you have your iPhone 4S running on it. You've tested it. You know it works. Let's move on to the second one. So the second one is how to get your iPhone 4S Siri authentication keys. So what you want, to, what you're doing in this is you're moving your or you're copying keys over to your iDevice your non-iPhone 4S iDevice. And once you have the keys on there, it's it's going to act just like an iPhone 4S to the proxy. So just go down here. And as you can see here, it's a written tutorial. And or it, both these tutorials are good as they both have videos and written tutorials. So you can follow it both ways. And as you can see, it's another good thing about uh, my tutorial is that you get to skip half of this. So let's just go all the way down. And uh, just start from 16, and once again, this is another one of those uh, very, very, very um, straightforward tutorials, and another one I recommend you guys to use. And with the combination of both of these, you should be fine. You should have this up and running. The only drawback, or the biggest drawback to this entire thing is that you're going to need to uh, regenerate, or your iPhone 4S regenerates its keys every 24 hours, and you're going to need to re put your keys back onto your iPod every 24 hours to use it. So uh, I've gotten, uh, I I did it yesterday as you guys have seen, but um, I don't know, uh, to a day-to-day -day basis, I'm not sure how that goes. I mean, it takes a, quite a few minutes to do, and uh, you guys will see as you guys go through this tutorial. It's not that bad, and it's uh, a pretty straightforward tutorial. You should have no problem with it. And uh, please rep respond in your comments with your uh, or respond with comments with your successes, and please uh, also submit um, video responses to show other people how it's going. <clears throat> and if this tutorial helps, or if you uh, want to stay in touch with me, please subscribe and share this video among your friends so they can do this too. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, rate, comment, like, etc. Share. Good night.